Brittany. <laughs> so yeah, welcome back to my channel. But guys, seriously, I've been getting so much hate lately. Um, a lot of you are saying I'm not intellectually stimulating or worth your time. You're also saying I need Jesus. I'm not sure what any of these things mean. However, I like definitely take your comments into consideration. So apparently a lot of the smarter YouTubers are doing like book reviews now. So I thought that'd be a great idea. Okay, so basically Leviticus is all about rules and the code of conduct. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Um, I'm trying to film. What are you filming? A book about Leviticus. I'm gonna pretend you did not just say that. So you know about Leviticus? Do you mean Leviticus? The chapter of the Bible pertaining to the codes of conduct for religion? <laughs> yeah! Looking down to 27 chapters, Moses is the only prophet, as it is in the Old Testament. Some things are no longer relevant today. Huh, would you look at that? Oh. First off, burnt offerings. So, in Leviticus, it says, whoever brings a burnt offering must have a slaughtered a sheep or a goat, and then the priest will then burn it on the altar, and then this will go to God. <laughs> okay, so the grain offerings are burned by the priest. However, Aaron and his sons, like, are supposed to get the leftovers, but that's not really relevant today because, like, Aaron and his kids don't really, um, are- That is one of the things that are no longer relevant. Aaron and his sons are no longer alive and will no longer have the rest of the grains. Ugh. <laughs> okay, Brock, what's next? I say that. Oh yeah. Okay, Brittany, what's next? <laughs> okay, periods are super annoying and according to Leviticus, they are unclean too. In order to purify <laughs> yourself, you must wait the full seven days or anyone who touches you will be unclean too. Wow. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It also says that you have to take two doves or pigeons and then bring them to the priest and they'll be sacrificed at the town meeting. So this is not relevant today. Oh. However, the Old Testament is important. <laughs> Seems like a basic procedure. However, it was not. Washing hands before meal is a requirement of keeping kosher. However, back then it was not. Leviticus was written in. I'm gonna put this in now. Okay, go. So that hygiene practices <laughs> yes. also do not have relations with someone who is married. Abstinence until marriage is another rule. <laughs> also do not have one relations with someone you share blood with. <laughs> or else you'll be considered unclean. <coughs> hey, Brent, you're up. Plus that would be like super weird at the next family reunion. <laughs> Isn't keeping kosher like super hard? Well, <laughs> only eat certain clean foods. Huh. for me oh yeah i have a lot of recipes for you so let's get right in first this is a demonstration you don't <gasps> see mixing meat and milk is not kosher okay, all right don't so, stop so i have a super awesome recipe for you you take sweet potatoes which are kosher and a butternut squash which is kosher and you just put them in a pan and it's awesome super good super healthy vegan and most importantly kosher our video for you. I hope you learned a lot about Leviticus. I would totally recommend the Bible to a ton of people. The local Barnes and Noble, um, they have to carry it somewhere. No, you say, I think you need to reevaluate your life choices. I think you need to reevaluate your life choices. Okay, well, thank you so much. Subscribe down below and check out my last video, and I'll be having a lot of fall makeup looks coming soon. So, thank you. Bye. Hey guys, so thank you again for watching, and remember, always stop and smell the flowers.